last time we played this game, I thought we'd continue, even though it's not very chess professional. It is quite nice a game. One more time and then we're going to become very professional. Professional. Enter the domain. We have to figure it out when we have time. Oh well, let's go back. Backer, back, 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 sign in. Okay. So we're already in um study create a study. Yep. Start it. We're gonna call it chapter. We're gonna call it B's chapter one. Uh, yes, let's edit it. Um, I don't want it like this, though we're going to reduce some pawns like this. And we're going to delete this completely from here. Um, and we're going to choose pawns. Double pawn. Oh, not there. Like this. And like that. Okay, for black, it's going to be quite different. I'm going to have two double pawn structures. And we're going to have a pawn here. Perfect. Um, let's play. Yes, yes, yes. Create chapter. So B is chapter one. It's created. Since it's white to play, we're going to play first. And so I thought I'd show you how that guy played. So he played knight out first. Um, but I will show you how to start off again. So if a position is like this where you have two double pawn structures, he has uh, four double pawn structures. And then it's best to just free out your pieces and still cast it. So let's start this. Um, it's his turn. So what your opponent is going to play is your knight out just to develop his king's pieces. Now we're going to play here. He's going to play something like this. Next move he's going to play there. So we're going to castle and here. And then we're going to move something like this. And he castles. The best way to start a game is to castle. That's what I wanted to show you. So we're going to add a new chapter. It's called A. Chapter. Just to make sure that I remember that this is the guy that played against me. I'll show you how he played. A chapter by A. A chapter by A. A by A. So we're going to keep chapter here. So a chapter... <laughs> A scepter by A. B, we're going to write B's here. And we're going to keep everything the same, except we're going to keep this as starting position. Perfect. And let's create the chapter. So, a chapter by A. Chapter by A. So, he was white. Oh, let me show you the perfect example. He was white, and he was just playing this. And I got shocked. But nonetheless, I pushed Queen's Pawn because... Pushed King Pawn one square, so that I could free out my few pieces. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I said Queen Pawn, but I meant King Pawn one square. And then he didn't care. He didn't find any possible way to attack that pawn because he didn't care. He pushed my the other knight out, and I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, even though I'm not supposed to play Queen side first, like I always tell you, to play King side. I played Queen side because I played Queen side, and he was like. Uh, I want to develop my bishops, and I thought, okay, maybe he has to develop his pieces, so you can't just play the game like that. So I thought he was going to push one of these pawns, and then I could start my game. But no, he didn't want to. He pushed this pawn, and I was stunned. So, as much stunned as I was, I was quite happy, because he looked like he was a noob so at chess. So, And then after that, he freed his bishop to a trapping position. 
Yeah, to push this pawn forward to attack this one. Anyway, I was shocked and shockered, and now I decided to outplay Queen's pawn to squares. So then he pushed his pawn, this one, one square, and frees the bishop in the next move. So I played this, and he played that. And, oh, sorry, he did not play that. We're going to delete that move. He was uh, pretty good at chess because he protected the bishop at least. Um, and then I was not in a shock anymore because I got used to it. And then I didn't castle yet. I And he castled. And I was done because his pawn was in the open. And that's not supposed to happen. So I could take it any time and leave it as a semi-open file. But I didn't. And then I castled. I castle the glorious castle. And he finally pushed one square forward. And I was like, okay, it's good. I brought my other rooks out and then he pushed this two square. And like me, I pushed, I uh, captured a pawn. He captured and I wasn't stopped. I didn't know what I was expecting. And then I played a regular move, a rook here. And he took this. And he went here. I'm sorry, sorry. So he went to uh, the square as d3, and then I uh, brought my pawn forward just to get this bishop out of the quick stat so that I can take that pawn to where it belongs. And he played moves that was regular, like this. He played a knight here, maybe to freeze bishop or just to make a move. And I decided it was time that I play this. And since the queen was in protection, my queen was in protection, we didn't care about that. So he took it, and I took off my knight. And he wanted to quick me out of base, so he did that. So I did this move. Now I'm not in trouble because, oh my. And I don't think he saw it because he took. And I took, and he resigned, which is fine. So... That was a game that I played with him. He did not see that. And then he asked for a rematch. I declined. And then that was it for this video. And I will see you next time.